Playing some more bridge game today. As you all know, I'm going for half budget on every level. I've got two cars, a farmer truck, and a cactus rally. And it seems to be a level where it's going to be a jump, and A isn't going to make it as far as B. But I think it's got to be a simple ramp like this. I mean, it's under budget, but it's complete ass. I am thoroughly prepared for this to fail. Well, it hasn't yet. There it goes. All right, what is stressed, huh? Why does this bridge suck besides the obvious? Well, my supports down here suck. We'll go with a cheeky steal. You know what? Two, two cheeky steals. I'm feeling extra cheeky right now. Just work. Yeah, that's all it takes. Now the question is, does the rally car shred the bridge? Oh yeah, it shreds. <laughs> Lovely. First off, bring the road up. Now I'm just gonna do another wood sport here. This is all, all part of the arch. And yes, in my infinite genius, after seeing the bridge break, I'm gonna have less supports, but it looks a little cleaner. So I just wanna see as long as it works for the farmer truck. So now we can actually address the elephant in the room and that's the really crappy second half. Sure, I could just do a total steel arch and just completely bankrupt myself. Listen, I know it's over budget, but it works, it breaks. It's terrible, it's so bad. It's such a terrible bridge. Why is this rope even here? It, it doesn't do anything, does it? I think I should actually address maybe parts of the break, like the unders. And does this make it flex? No, it balance is fine. Okay, that works. At least I have a starting point. I do gotta save a little over $2,000. A lot of the top actually doesn't need to be steel, neither uh, the right side does, and some of the top does. This does not need to be steel. It probably could just be a wood support. It, I could probably have a wood support here too. Oh, they're taking some hits now. Maybe it won't matter. It doesn't. Okay. Holy stress. That's a lot of it. Maybe I can get away with this being a muscle. One bit at a time. Okay. That's clean. I have less than a thousand to shave. That's doable. I could take the road and bring it this way and then have a wood here and just expect the farmer truck to make a jump. Nope. All right, well, I can shift over the arch. You kind of see this arch shape. That is a cleaner arch. No! Oh, it's so beautifully perched and those stacks of hay that defy gravity. I think I can tweak it around a bit then. This muscle can mess around. Come on, farmer truck. Oh, there we go, a tumble and a no breaker. All right, next up, there's definitely steel I can get rid of. I'm gonna immediately go to wood muscles now, and there is no possible way that this will backfire. <laughs> wow. Okay, fair enough. Wonder if I should just be smart, have it drive down. You know, if I want, I could lower this, because I'm sure the rally car will still make the jump. Yeah, the rally car is fine. The bridge, not fine. All right, we're gonna go back to steel, because I think my new tweak is just this road. Let's try a different tweak where instead I just simply bring the road in. Come on. There we go. There we go. Wow. Uh, I need to slow it down better. Can I save like any roads? Just like fewer roads? I could get rid of a road here. Just place it there. That's a huge shave if it works. With the road gone, does the bridge at least hold? Yeah, it holds. Okay. I can go back to attaching the road and we'll see how this works. Farmer works fine. Car? Oh, that's beautiful. That is 300 bucks to go. How about the left side? I haven't done much with that. I could bring in the steel. That works a little better, but it all kind of comes down to the rally car. Does it shred the bridge? It does not. Maybe I can just do one wood muscle and save the day. So does the wood muscle work? Oh, it gets stressed. That's a pretty bad sign. Ah, uh, but it does work. Hell yeah, under half budget. Oh, I got 25,000. However, it's a pretty long gap and oh, there is not much space to build. It's got the restriction box, which by the way is such a cool mechanic. It really wants me to build a foundation in here, but this just about takes up all my budget. Well, the only way I'm gonna do anything is if I arch the road. It is under half budget and I will try to get this as high as possible even like making it kind of bulge here. Because who knows, maybe it's just working. I mean, the car can't wait that much. Oh, did I just first try? That's a big, big, big win. Love to see it. Oh, I love this histogram. Look at the chasm. Nobody got it in the middle. This is so weird. I guess it's like either you know the art strategy or you don't. Oh, I got 30,000 to work with and a big boat and a tow truck. 
I gotta say, I love the amount of different and unique vehicles there are. And this is a level about training people to use the arch. After this level, people will realize how scary powerful a road arch is. And I'm gonna do a very simple just triangle setup. So I'm starting with the basics here. Does this work? It actually just does. Wow, another first try. What a day for first trying. Of course, everyone did good on this one because it's pretty easy to do good. I'm proud, not a single person got over budget with this. Good job, everybody. Holy budget, 222,000 normally, 111,000 for Tyler. What is this giant level? I got a limo, I got a longhorn, which is just basically a baby limo and a huge gap. Can I beat this without foundations? Just do a super arch? I'm gonna need steel. This is gonna be hard as hell to do half budget. Dude, but what if, <laughs> what if it works no foundations? I'd have to do it kind of like so. Mega arch, look at this baby, yo. Damn, that's a lot of money already. So this calls for steel. Actually, here's what's up, here's what's up, here's what's up. I'm going to delete most of the bridge and just make sure the limo works. This was important. I'm, wait, ah, 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 it, it do work. It do work. So, okay, back to the arch. So this calls for a steel oversport. There's no way I'm getting around it. We're gonna go wood first and then replace it with steel. So it is under budget by quite a bit, actually. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let's get a better view of that beautiful collapse. I do have one trick up my sleeve, and that is don't have the road carry the bridge. You take a road, you build it to about here, mine the gap, put a steel in there, and then you attach the road like that. So the steel is actually the support. And yes, the road breaks. Um, this was <laughs> probably not my uh, finest hour. Well, oop. maybe a foundation is ideal here. And 40 meters from each side, that's not that big in the grand scheme of things. From here, I could do two arches. Yes, it is still a gigantic arch, but it is more likely, and I had money to spare, so it's fine. Let's just see if there's any merit to that. Oh, it holds, it's up. All right, already is automatically better. Now, let me just see if it at least holds the cars. It almost does. Here's something interesting, all right? I take the bridge, I flip it. A couple things happened. One, I am over budget. Two. There's a little dip here in the middle with the V. I feel like I'm gonna need to automatically prevent that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of deletion and replacing with steel. And then I will simply build over with roads like so, except it will be evenly spaced. So from here, I would imagine wood would be good enough. I'll actually dip it down a bit so I can have a wood support here. All right, let's see if that helps the problem. Yes, it is still stressed, but look, it's the steel now that's stressed. And I think it made it further, except the road broke. I am thinking about more foundations, but they are mad expensive. Although, hold on, it's got me thinking a little bit. What if I scrap this whole idea? Go back to one foundation still. However, the foundation's low. Tiny foundation. And I'll do like a cool little steel support here. What about a road arch to say like down here? It's still got an arch, it's just kind of tilted to the side. And then I would do something like that. But, of course, again, delete these roads. And we'll go with like a big steel under support, like so. And maybe if I'm lucky, the uh, damage will go to the steel. Also expensive, yes. How expensive? Not that expensive. I wanna see if this idea has any merit. It makes it over easily. What the hell? You broke, excuse you? How about something a bit more like this? Try to route the stress to the foundation. All the roads are stressed. Okay, that's more what I expected. All right, how much of this should I have be under support instead? I still want an arch, but an arch like with under support. Something more like that. I'm not saying it's perfect, but I'm saying the steel kind of goes under and over. That puts a ton of road strain. Mostly on the right side though. Right side's jealous, it's not the left side. What's funny is driving on it makes it do better. So that's the furthest I ever got and it's just failed over here. Well, maybe I can do an under over under, but I, I severely doubt it. I think I just got pretty lucky. Yeah, okay, I figured that would instantly break. I just wanna see like if I get it to balance, is there any merit to it? 
Whoa, 55% stress. Surely that won't be for long. Uh, uh, come on, it's so close. A steel broke. What the hell? All right, that's better than a road. Uh, steels can be muscled, roads can be sad. Let me try something. What if I get rid of two steels here, just do a, like a wood funny little connection here? I think I'm gonna steal muscle though. Uh, steel muscles are expensive, they shouldn't go far. Cute little boxes in the middle. But it's still 54% stress, so that could have merit. This- Oh, we made it to the middle! A wood broke. Okay, so these aren't all stabilizers that we're looking at here. I'll go back to the old age of just steel connections. I just want a working bridge right now. Because I think if I have a working bridge, it's easier to shave 10,000 here. Because, I mean, this works really cleanly until it gets to the middle. I'm going to keep it slow while I watch. That's a bad angle. Okay, hold on. I can handle the bad angles. Bring it over. Slow it down. Angles fixed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, 10,000. Barely 9,000 to go, actually. Oh, top 100. <laughs> Damn, I got this for cheap. Is first place just under 100k? It is. Wow, well, time to shave the bridge. First thing is, I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff here is just stabilizing. And I think that's the case for the other side as well. It's already a full thousand if it works. It actually started less stressed. All right, keep attacking the stabilizers. I'm top 70. So I was also thinking that this here is a stabilizer. I'm actually thinking I can also get rid of this wood as long as I have wood rope here, which already needed to happen. I'll do exactly the same over on this side. Wood rope, no other piece. It's another 2,000 off. Whoa, that does be flexing. All right, I'll bring back the stabilizer. Sometimes bridges need stabilizers, but wood rope is cheaper than steel and that is a successful $1,000 shave. I really feel like these three steel pieces could be cheaper. How about I get rid of this steel piece and then do a wood attachment like this? Maybe, 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 yes. Another steel gone. So satisfying, there's so many steel pieces to remove. All right, here's what's up. We're gonna analyze the steel, what can be shaved? The roads are fine, steel on top. Not stressed much at all, it's a little in the middle. Okay, I'm just gonna get this top arch then. It really feels like this can be shaved. I imagine it's gonna be a lot worse, but it seemed like it had wiggle room. So what gives? Yes, it had wiggle room. Good, good, good. No way. Okay, hold on. Surely that's just an imbalance. Surely I can't just replace this arch and everything will be okay. There's no way the butterfly effect is that strong. I mean, maybe just the two halves of the bridge help each other way more than I realized. But I think if they're balanced, it should- Oh no. Oh no, they do affect each other. How does the bridge compare? If I shift over this section. More expensive, but maybe it's better to compensate? I know it's more expensive. Look at it wiggle. Man, this is the biggest wiggly bridge I've ever made. It's more expensive by about 200. I wonder if that means I could just go for a steel muscle now? Because maybe that makes it less bad. That makes the wood break. Okay, I could do a steel in its place that's still cheaper. If I can get rid of that steel muscle, I'm a happy camper. All right, that was worth it. 3,000 to go. <laughs> Whoa, look at that stress. Oh, that is stress I can work with. I'm gonna move up the steel a little bit since it's not that stressed, trademark. And maybe that's just a pretty quality save. Yeah, it still works. <laughs> Two and a half thousand to go. Oh wait, I only need to get 111,000. I was thinking I needed to go for 110,000. I have only a thousand and a half to go. That's gotta be doable, come on. Okay, what if I just bring down the arch on the arch? That's like 700 off, but it is a weaker arch, but it still holds. Oh, it's getting so close, I'm within a thousand. It is very stressed. Let me try bringing back the wood triangle, but I can do a road support instead of wood. That way, it's still cheap, but it has pretty good compressive forces. Just keep an eye on it, keep an eye. Here they come. How's it do? Ooh, snaps. Even if this was gone? Well, if that was gone and I had more compressive road, it's still under budget. So it feels like it doesn't have to be steel. Feels like it doesn't have to, but what happens when it gets close? <gasps> oh, it gets over. Yes, another steel gone. Please make it because this bridge sometimes does weird things. It works half budget. Huge. What a 
freaking challenge. Top 25. Out of curiosity, can I switch back to woods? I feel like it's BS that these are steel. Yeah, it's BS. They should never have been steel. I'm not going to continue playing this bridge. I just wanted to do that. What's the cheapest look like? 101,000. That's got a long underspore. It does have the arch road. Damn, this is an elegant bridge. Look at that spider web. Look at that wood arch. Oh, 99,000 bacon pancakes. What the hell? Oh, the other car did slow down. Bacon with the slow solution. Actually, a really, really cool sloping bridge. Well, I'm glad I got that under half budget. A huge budget here too. 41,000 effectively. 